Good morning to you. It is now, let's see here, 613 on this beautiful Thursday morning. We don't have much in the way of cloud cover unless you live in deep east Texas, but hey, a few clouds can hurt this afternoon with how warm it's been. I mean, we were in the middle to upper 90s yesterday, but hey, Longview not looking too shabby right now. That's because we do have this area of high pressure up to our north and to our west. Notice the arrows. That's a clockwise spin around this area of high pressure that's currently located over Kansas, but but this is the upper levels in the lower levels. You can see some moisture being pumped in and as a result, still going to be warm and humid with an isolated chance at a couple of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, predominantly in deep east Texas. Now let's talk about the temperatures and the humidity real fast. First off, it's a warm start this morning. I bet you never would have guessed that we are in the middle to upper 70s right now. It is 79 in Tyler. We're at 75 in Jacksonville, 77 in Athens and Sulphur Springs. Springs. Dew point temperatures in the low to middle 70s, so generally a very humid morning. Anytime you have those dew point temps and those regular air temperatures real close together like that, your relative humidity is very much so on the high side. You can see upper 80%, some triple digits as well. Palestine is at 100% relative humidity. Nacogdoches, Crockett, Hemphill there as well. So that just means you're probably going to wake up to a little bit of dew on the windshield, but unfortunately we will see showers and thunderstorms as a result of how rich the moisture is right now. That's 3 o'clock. A couple of bubble up showers and storms. Even through 6 o'clock we're dealing with the same thing. And then as we go into your Friday, similar situation with more showers and thunderstorms popping off in the afternoon. Here's that bus stop forecast. 70s at 7 o'clock, 90s return this afternoon. Recess, questionable, maybe a shorter recess for the kiddos since it's going to be so warm. But once again, we know what to expect at this time of year. Going to be hot and humid, and we also have those isolated rain chances over the next several days. Now, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Better rain chances are on the way. Lower 90s. We're tracking the tropics next week. Depending on where that storm goes, that's going to highly influence our rain chances. But as of right now, it looks like our southeastern counties, Toledo Bend pointing off to the east, see the best chance of rain in deep east Texas. And that really is the area that we want to watch right mm -hmm. for this tropical. Yeah, uh, well, we don't know yet, but yeah. whatever it becomes. Mm -hmm. And as of right now, good news for Texas, bad news for Louisiana. Uh -huh. It does look like this storm is shifting off to the east and it does look powerful from what I have seen so far this morning. Okay. Well, we don't really appreciate that storm, but you know what we do appreciate? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Our viewers. Our viewers.